Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today we're going to be playing with springs. Now this is an absolute must when you start working with the equipment because the springs will translate through the body in vastly different ways depending on how heavy you go or how light you go. And it's also really fun to be able to challenge your client within the same exercise but with different springs. So we're going to experiment with this with Jen today. Okay, so classically speaking, footwork is done with all springs, right? So very heavy. So I have them all loaded and let's have Jen press in and out a few times and I don't want you to correct. So what happens here when you have all of the springs on is that there's a lot of force between the feet and the shoulder rests. So it's really easy to compress the spine here. So the challenge is can Jennifer find an elongation of the spine even though the springs are working hard to shorten her stature. So I want you to go all the way out, Jen. Stay here for a moment. Now, um, in one of our fusion videos, we talked about pelvic clocking and this is a really powerful cue here. So can you find a little bit more t um, six o'clock Tailbone heavy, yes, even a tiny bit more. Ooh, good. Now take a nice inhale into the rib cage, finding space, and exhale. Can you feel like the front and back body are lengthening? Yes, through the crown of the head. And one more breath here. Think about all of those little discs in between each and every vertebra and try to puff them up front, back, ooh, better, and side to side, she just grew out of her skeleton, that was beautiful. Now, can you maintain this length and those puffy discs as you start to bend your knees in? Letting the springs load the femurs and the femur heads deep into the pelvis. Good, Jen, beautiful. And again, finding those juicy lumbar discs as you press out, finding their space, keeping them nice and juicy on all sides, front, back, side to side, good. And then coming back in, yes, look at that elongation she's finding here. And sometimes your clients are gonna have to stop and feel and find it again, always returning to that nice long spine and rest for a moment. Mm -hmm. So did you feel your legs having to work pretty hard to do that? Yes, but everything felt Really, once I found that elongation, mm -hmm. actually, the the legs felt actually a little bit lighter. Oh, awesome! Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And that's I because I didn't feel like I had to work so hard. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And that's what we're always looking for is that ease of movement. And when the skeleton stacks the way it's supposed to in alignment, movement becomes much much easier. So now we're going to go into light springs. So Jen, here we go. So I'm going to go underneath. And I just have one light spring on here, okay? Mm -hmm. So now there appears to feel like there's too much space in between the shoulder rest and the foot bar. So Jen's gonna have to control the carriage. So have them go slow. And whenever I start to go on really light springs, I always tell my clients that their brakes are their hands on the railings if they get a little <laughs> too, too far away from the foot bar, okay? So hands back onto the carriage. Mm -hmm. So let's have you inhale, pressing out to straight legs, and go nice and slow because it's going to feel like a much different dynamic. Mm -hmm. And now, all the way from the arches of her feet into the pelvic floor diaphragm, respiratory diaphragm, thoracic diaphragm, and the roof of the mouth, she has to draw herself in. Now what happens typically when people are first starting to do this is that they lose their solar plexus anchor. So we want to have that deep, heavy spine right between the shoulder blades to help. Mm -hmm. Jen's working hard through the midline of her body, very different from what we just did. And one more time, inhale out. Her feet are having to hold on to the bar, the arches are activating. There's this constant feeling of trying to draw herself into the bar, which is sinking the femur heads in a much different way than the force of the springs. It's the force of her body. Now her body's the spring. Before the equipment was doing it, and now she is. Very nice, Jen. Let's see that one more time. This is very hard work, a lot of hamstrings. Last time, inhale. And then 
on the exhale, when you come back in, Jen, I want you to think about that your body as a spring dynamic, that everything comes into the center to your deep, heavy pelvis, back of the sacrum, pouring into the equipment. Good. Very nice. So much different dynamic, right? Oh, yeah. A lot harder work. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining mm -hmm. us today. We'll see you again soon.